Hi, I'm Miles Bush, CEO of PH Real Estate. First of all, see it as a long-term plan. Don't get into real estate if you're looking at quick, short-term gains. The, the longer you're in this industry, the easier it becomes. And secondly, be prepared to work long hours. First of all, longevity. You know, um, I'd want to work with a company who has been in the market at least for five or ten years. I certainly wouldn't want to be joining a, a startup, a high-risk startup. The next thing would be leads uh, and actual market exposure. It's all very well having great listings, but if your company is not giving you hot, uh, hot properties, signature properties, and enabling you to be on the front page of the portals, you're going to struggle to pick up leads. Um, the next thing would actually be the internal support structure in terms of do they have uh, company uh, drivers, do they have an in-house marketing team, do they have administration help um, and actually you know a, a facility in place that will uh, that will make your life a lot easier on a daily uh, on a daily basis. The next thing would be the actual commission structure. I know that there are companies out there that offer 70% commission but you've got to remember that 70% of nothing is still nothing. So I'd actually be looking more, I'd be looking at the, the opportunities and the lead production a lot more than just the percentage. The last thing would be training. Training is not just a one-off thing, it's a constant thing. We should always be learning, we should always be uh, adapting and developing. So yeah, they'd be the things that I'd be looking for from my company. Mandatory training, which here in Dubai is rarer. Um, but in addition to that, I'd want on-the-job training. I'd want somebody to come out with me on viewings if I'm struggling. I'd want somebody to be able to listen into my calls through the call tracker and actually give me some uh, constructive advice of how I could improve on the telephone. Um, I'd want advice in looking at my marketing. Are my listings clean, concise and sharp? Even the Bayut Academy I think is fantastic and these are the things that I would expect as a minimum from my employer. They're not thinking about their own goals. They're actually thinking about what the client needs first. The second thing is that they stop with their opinions. You know, nowadays we have access to data. We have the land department data. So our opinion uh, has become less and less uh, relevant and we should, be, we should be reliant on data. Um, the next thing is just blood, sweat and tears, hard graft, putting in the hours. We should be working around the needs of our clients, not our own. So if you're expecting to see this as a nine to five job, it's the wrong industry, you know. This is a job where yes, you can make a hell of a lot of money, but uh, be prepared to work those weekends, be prepared to work uh, during the evenings and, and, and put, in the, put in the time. Focus in an area, be a real expert of that area and make sure that that area is a place that you love and that you actually believe in. The next thing would definitely be to ask for referrals. Don't presume that your clients are going to give you referrals. Go and ask for them. Keep your word. Always keep your word. And that could be to external brokers. That could be to your buyers, your sellers, your landlords. Be on time. Keep your word. Be a professional. Um, and the last thing for me, have a daily plan. Have a daily plan. Have a reason why you're coming in. Have very, very clear goals of what you want to achieve across the course of that day. Thanks for your time and hopefully my advice has been of some help.